Labor unions yesterday began a five-day warning strike in Kaduna State. NLC National President Comrade Ayuba Waba said at the flag off of the strike that it will run its full course unless the state government attends to the workers' grievances. He said the national leadership of the NLC had been informed that the grievances included the sacking of 7,000 workers from local governments in the state. He said the Congress was aware that in the primary health care development agency, 1,700 workers were sacked in the face of exorbitant increment in tuition fees, high cost of living, and other actions in ministries and agencies in the states that are uncalled for. We are here to resist a government that does not respect the rule of law. We are here to respect a government that does not respect the dignity of labor. You are aware of the provision of Section 20 of the Labor Act. It made very clear provision that before any employer of labor, be it in the public sector, be it in the public sector, declare redundancy, they must first consult the union and the workers' representative. In fact, the law said, shall. And the first item there is the name of a deceased teacher in the list of people that have passed competency tests. Are they ghosts? Yes. Except we are carrying out a ghost competency test. We raised that issue to him, not only Baba, it was a writing. We never knew that it was a neoliberal policy. What happened is that he has seen workers, particularly primary school teachers, that are occupying higher grades, and their salary is a bit higher than the lower grade. So he compared the needs of all those teachers, and now say they have failed the compensation test. These are teachers that are experienced. These are teachers that have grown from the rank and file to arrive at where we are. Those are the teachers that were sacked. And then he replaced them with newly employed teachers that were on lower grade level, mostly on level seven, eight, and nine. And he put them on a fixed salary. As I speak to you, after two years, they are still temporary staff. Is that a decent work? No. Is that what the law said? No. In 2017, he sacked 5,000 workers, local government workers. Suddenly, as of last week, he has sacked 2,441. When you had it up, Rufai has sacked 7,441 local government workers without any remuneration, without their severance package, either at their gratuity or any amount of money paid to them. Many of them have died. I've just raised an example of the former president of Norgay. The man was sacked, he became depressed, he died, and his family are now suffering. So to an average local government worker in Kaduna say that the Rufai has, because of this injustice, has led to their death. The Aloro says, before you disengage the worker, there's what we call London Sea Law. You, you shall engage the labor union representing that worker. Rufai acted in breach of this ILO convention, in breach of Trade Union Amendment Act of Nigeria 206. He has acted against fundamental human rights, which is the shatter under ILO and United Nations, and he has acted in deviance of the, 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 the favor he received from God Almighty. We are here to also address our redness concerning the tuition fee increment in the entire Kaduna State institutions. 500% increment. This is an exploitation in which we are not going to accept it. Initially, the money we are paying, 24,000 Naira for an indigent, 36,000 Naira for non-indigent. Some of our students are unable to pay that particular money. And now you have increased the money to 170, 200, and 300. We don't want that increment. We want you to do total reversal of that increment. We don't want to even tell you to reduce it for us. But rather, we want total reversal because we are thinking of the future generation that are coming. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.